Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and in today's video, we are going to talk about my top five of ways how to get inspiration in Planet Zoo. This obviously is just my personal opinion, and you maybe have a really good different way of getting inspiration. So if you do, then please make sure to share this in the comments with us, as I am sure this can be super helpful for a lot of people watching right now. So now, without further talking, Let's jump into my five different ways of getting inspiration for your Planet Zoo builds. So at number five, I'll add just start building without a plan. Now you may not believe it, but very often I also find myself just staring at an empty spot, not knowing what I should build. And mostly I do have an idea of what animal I want to add. But other than that, things are just completely blank, basically. And I am sure many of you right now watching have this feeling so often as well. Like what really helps for me to just stop staring is just to start anywhere. Whether I start with a little viewing gallery or an underwater viewing gallery, maybe a shelter building or like a rocky shelter. And I don't mean like super much in detail, but just to like plan like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to dig a hole here. I'm gonna put down a glass wall where I want my underwater viewing gallery to be. And that is like the little base you have, but you already started building instead of like looking at that empty screen. So just go and start to build something that you feel like matches the animal that you want to add. And at least for me, like very often it happens that along the way, while I am focusing on that little corner or piece of the habitat, ideas just start popping up in my head of how I could add more to the habitat to reach like a complete habitat in the end, obviously. And even like when I end up with something I am not completely happy with, I will just keep adding little things to the habitat until I am happy and satisfied. Like it really barely happens for me that I actually stop building and delete everything that I did. So yeah, just an extra tip. Like if you're unhappy, don't stop building, don't delete it, but just keep adding to the build until you do become more happy. And if you need like some more inspiration of what kind of things you could add to your habitat regarding pieces, I actually just uploaded a top 10 habitat items video of my most favorite items to use to decorate your habitats with. So that video also might be helpful to maybe get a little bit more of an idea of what kind of things you could start with or could add into your habitats. But yeah, definitely just stop staring and start doing something is definitely something that can help for me to get into like this creative flow. At number four, you will find the Steam Workshop. So if you struggle to find an idea of what you can build in your own zoo, maybe it helps to just go to the Steam Workshop and find some inspiration there. Like you could obviously download habitats that you like and maybe try to explore how people did this and build something inspired of that for yourself. Or of course, you could also use that habitat itself for your zoo and make it your own by just adding things to it. Now, since this isn't like a how to get inspiration video, I will obviously leave out the option that you just use that workshop item and that's it, because that is clearly not really part of the how to get inspiration to build something yourself. <laughs> but obviously, at the end of the day, you should do whatever makes you happy. But downloading habitats and buildings from the Steam Workshop are definitely a great learning curve just to see also how people build these habitats and like what kind of pieces they used and how they use these pieces exactly. So you can really use this as inspiration as well for your own builds. Well, you are watching this YouTube video right now to get some inspiration. So it really isn't that much of a surprise that I'll be adding watch YouTube videos at number three. Whether you have like an animal in mind or you are looking for inspiration in general, YouTube is probably one of your best friends when it comes down to inspiration. Just Google for Planet Zoo animal name or Planet Zoo animal name habitat and you will right away get like tons of videos recommended by YouTube for that certain animal. And I'm sure there must be at least one video out there that can give you inspiration for your zoo. Also, when you struggle like to find the first animal to add, for example, just look up Planet Zoo YouTube series 
and see what other creators use as their first animal or how they build their entrance or a habitat for their first animal. Like I am sure there is plenty of inspiration out there to give you some cool and creative ideas to get going. And I'm also pretty sure that a lot of you guys already use the option to get some inspiration from YouTube videos and probably ended up on my channel. If that is the case, do let me know in the comments down below, of course. So at number two, I will suggest to either visit a real life zoo if that is an option for you and obviously make lots of pictures or a video footage for inspiration or to use Google Maps. I think many people don't know that some zoos, unfortunately not all zoos, did allow Google Maps to drive through their zoos so you can kind of walk around in those zoos to get some inspiration. You could, for example, visit Rotterdam Zoo, Blyder, which is my most favorite zoo, but also, for example, San Diego Zoo. And if people are watching right now and know more zoos which you can actually walk around in with Google Maps, then please do mention them in the comments down below so others can also look up these great zoos for inspiration. Like, not only do these Google Map tours or real life tours, of course, help for like the habitat builds itself to get inspiration, but it can also really help to get an idea of how to fill in gaps, for example, or how to connect your path with each other. So yeah, there are so many things you can learn from real life zoo tours or like these Google map tours. And I will also add to this that online you can download pretty much any zoo map of any zoo if you need more help with ideas of how to plan your zoos. But yeah, obviously you can also pretty much use Google Maps for that as well. So at number one, I'll simply be adding a Google images. Like for me, this is the first place to go to when I need some inspiration. Just type in things like animal name zoo exhibit, animal name zoo habitat, or animal name zoo enclosure. And you will be guaranteed to find lots of pictures of the habitats for your animals. Like I can get inspired by just a simple fence, the way how a habitat is sunken into the ground, how water is laid out in the habitat, maybe a waterfall, how their shelter looks like, a simple bridge or just a simple wall. There are like plenty of small things you can find via Google that can give you tons of inspiration for a habitat. And if you're looking for like more realism, I highly recommend you to look up zoo master plans. Now, I don't think every zoo has a zoo master plan online, but surely you can find like a bunch of them via Google when you just search for zoo master plan or like zoo master plan dot PDF, or actually just try and type in the name of the zoo you are looking for to see if they have like this master plan. Now be prepared though. When looking for master plans, you will probably end up with very big files with like tons of pages with lots of general zoo and animal information and also like a lot of cool sketches and drawings of how they make habitats in real life and how they make like viewing areas work on the right eye level and stuff. It's like definitely super interesting but also super time consuming when looking for inspiration. So yeah, for me personally, simply using Google images is the easiest and fastest way to get inspiration. So this was my top five ways of how to get inspiration for your planet zoo builds and I obviously would love to hear from you all if these tips were useful for you to get some inspiration for your own zoos and if you maybe have some other great tips that I didn't cover in this video then please do let us know in the comments down below because we really would love to hear your tips and tricks as well of how to get inspiration for planet zoo. Let me know what you all think of this top five video in the comments down below. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you have already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!